Hi, my name is Sandeep Gupta, and I'm a product manager in the TensorFlow team. I'm going to talk to you about TensorFlow Hub. I'm presenting this work on be behalf of my colleague Gus and our Europe-based TF Hub team. So when you want to apply ML to solve a problem, you first need a suitable model. And now everyday powerful new models are published in research papers or in blog posts. So let's say you read about one of these and you want to see how great it is and you want to try it on your problem. So you search for more details and you might find the model code repository somewhere. Sometimes the pre-trained model is right there. Sometimes it is stored on some other storage. Sometimes you may need to download a, and run a script to get access to the model. So as you do this, you have many questions. How do I use this model? Is it safe? How was it trained? What was the data? Am I using the correct version? This is where TensorFlow Hub comes in to help you. So tfhub.dev is the place for all your TensorFlow model needs to easily find the latest ready-to-use models with documentation, code snippets, and much, much more. So TensorFlow Hub's rich repository of models covers a wide range of machine learning tasks for all of your common ML needs. For example, in image-related tasks, we have models for image classification, object detection, image augmentation, and also image generation, such as for slight style transfers and more. For text, we have state-of-the-art models like BERT and ALBERT. We have universal sentence encoders and many more embeddings that can support a wide range of natural language understanding tasks, such as question and answering, text classification, semantic analysis, and many more. We also have video-related models, which can help with video action recognition, such as gestures, and also video generation. And now we have recently added audio models for things like pitch detection. So we've invested a lot of energy in making models in TensorFlow Hub be easily reusable for composing new models for transfer learning for your problem. With one line of code, models can be pulled into your TensorFlow 2 code for retraining with your own data. Now this works whether you are using the high-level tf.keras API or the low-level APIs. This can also be used in your training pipelines through TensorFlow Extended. Recently, we have added support for models that are ready to deploy on all platforms where you use TensorFlow. These pre-trained models have been prepared for a wide range of environments which run across the TensorFlow's ecosystem. For example, you can use TensorFlow.js models for web and node-based environments. You can use TensorFlow Lite models for your mobile and embedded devices. In TensorFlow Hub, you can also discover ready-to-use models for the Coral Edge TPU devices. These devices combine TensorFlow Lite models with a fast and efficient accelerator, which helps companies create models that perform really fast inference on the edge. You can learn more about this platform at Coral.ai. So today we have more than 1,000 models available with documentation, code snippets, and for some of them, there are also simple demos that you can try uh, uh, interactively. These models can be easily found by searching or exploring the TensorFlow Hub repository. Now, many TensorFlow Hub models also have an interactive Colab notebook that links directly to the, to the model page, which lets you play with the models with code examples right from your browser. And this is all hosted on Google's infrastructure, so you can be getting started with nothing to install. So now that we have seen what TensorFlow Hub is, let's take a look at a couple of examples and see how it can help you solve your problems. So the first example I'll show you is about style transfer. So here, let's take a look at how TensorFlow Hub can do artistic style transfer that can work on arbitrary painting styles using generative models. So let's say you have an image of this yellow Labrador shown here, and you would like to imagine it in the style of your favorite painter. So you can find a style transfer model on TF Hub uh, as shown at this URL. And then you import the TensorFlow Hub module, and you can download this model from its URL with these lines of code shown here. And now you have the model is ready for calling inference on your image, and you get back the stylized image as shown here. You can get more details of this example at the URL shown on the bottom. The second example we'll take a look at has to do with text classification. So let's look at how you can use a model with a layer from TensorFlow Hub that you can use and train your own model. So imagine you want to participate in a Kaggle competition that's related to text classification. Now for text problems, you usually start with a text embedding, which is a way of converting raw text into a more useful structured numeric representation that a neural network model can take in. 
Now, training your own embeddings can take a lot of time and data. The good news is that TF Hub has multiple embeddings in many languages that are ready for your use. So with TensorFlow Hub, you can pull any of these pre-trained embeddings with one line of code. Here we are importing one of these embeddings as a Keras model layer, as you see with that last line there. And now this Keras model layer can be incorporated in the rest of your TensorFlow, TensorFlow 2 model training code using standard Keras APIs by adding additional layers and then calling the model training uh, uh, and the compile and fit functions. So you can see how easy it is to build a powerful custom text model on top of a pre-trained embedding directly from TF Hub. Another thing I wanted to highlight is that TF Hub also helps bring these models to life in a very interactive way. So some of our publishers have created custom components that highlight the amazing work of these models, which you can try out directly in the browser on your own image or your, on, on your own audio clip uh, without having to download or install anything. Before I close, I want to show you some of the recent improvements and additions on tensorflowhub.dev. So first, as our model collection on TF Hub has grown, we have greatly improved the search and discovery feature on TensorFlow Hub to make it easy for you to find the model that you need. So you can filter by model type, you can filter by model formats or deployment targets. For example, if you need a model to run on mobile or in the browser, you can find them easily and quickly. You can also use these filters to specifically find models that are fine tunable on your own data. Also, we have done a lot of work to support the variety of TensorFlow deployment formats. So for TensorFlow Lite, we now support additional metadata along with the TF Lite model file. This metadata stores useful information about the model, such as its version number, its input outputs, and also its class labels, et cetera, which makes managing these models in your mobile applications much, much easier. For TensorFlow JS, we are excited to announce two new models today for face tracking and hand tracking, which are built by our media pipe team. These models enable some really cool interactive web applications, and in future, we will be adding more text models for web use cases. Lastly, TensorFlow Hub is powered by the TensorFlow community. When we first launched TensorFlow Hub, we used it as a platform for sharing Google authored models, but now we are beginning to share models from many more publishers such as Microsoft, the Metropolitan Museum, NVIDIA, and many, many more. For example, very recently, we completed a TensorFlow 2.0 Kaggle question answering challenge competition, and we are happy to announce that Kaggle has published all of the winner's models on TensorFlow Hub. Now with over 1,000 state-of-the-art models from an increasing number of organizations, you can find models that cover a much wider range of machine learning tasks and data sets. So to everyone who has helped contribute models to TF Hub, a big thank you. If you are interested in publishing your models, we are now accepting submissions. We are in the early stages of building out our third-party model, model collection, and our focus is still on adding high-quality models with strong documentation. And we are very interested in helping people share reusable pieces of ML models with the wider world. So if you would like to share your models, please visit the link shown here or find it on our website. So that's it about TF Hub. Thank you so much for watching. And with that, I would like to hand it over to Gal, who will tell us more about TensorBoard. Thank you.